Just our local firefighters doing some firehouse training. That's cool. 15 seconds. Might as well put her in fucking neutral. I'm trying to dig on that clutch in for 12 seconds. That's too much. You know what? I have a perfect vlog. I have the perfect vlog. Here it is. And if you have the same opinion as me, please comment down below. Please comment down below. Scooters. Fucking scooters. 49cc scooters. I don't think they even have to have their licenses. Okay, this is, and it's not bad here, but I watch these crash videos. It's like, oh, motorcycle crashes. Dum, dum, dum. No, it's scooter crashes. It's just scooters being fucking idiots. I can play name, well, we'll try, we'll go for five problems with scooters. Okay? One, they're barely fast enough to meet road standards. Okay, so what I mean by that is, like, if there's a car trying to kill me, I can get up and get out. Really quick, gone, no problem, done. Okay? I can get out of the way, I can use my brakes, I'm done. Alright? Another problem with scooters. Two, for some insane fucking reason, people think that they don't have to wear protective equipment while wearing scooters, like helmets, shorts, pants. Now, granted, there's other people who ride sport bikes, and I've seen them, you know, in, like, flip-flops, shorts, and t-shirt. But when you talk to the motorcycle community, the people who actually ride motorcycles, big motorcycles, they have gear on. They have gloves, they have long sleeves, they have helmets, they have boots, they have pants. Or, you know, even then, like, I have my Icon jacket. I didn't want to wear it today because I just didn't want to. Gear. They think that they don't need to wear gear. Hey, yeah, that's two. She's looking hardcore at that Barbie, though. Like, really hardcore. She's like, what a sexist cunt. Three. It just seems to me like the crashes are more often because they're more careless. They think they're on a scooter, so they're not going to get hurt because it's not as fast. No. It's just the lack of intellect, I guess. Like, they don't think that when they're fucking around that they're going to get hurt. Period. They don't think that they're going to get hurt. So that's three. Four. They're breaking. God, their braking sucks. Their braking sucks so fucking bad. Like, you watch these videos, all well, you see is little tires just squealing because their tires are like two inches wide. They're itty bitty. Look, like, that guy. Okay, he's in the military. Of course, he has to have gear on. But he doesn't have everything he actually needs. You know what? Fuck you, Heineken truck. It's not a fucking merging lane. Their, their tires suck. So you see you see these crash videos, and there's like, <laughs> that's four. Their, their tires suck, they brake, and it doesn't allow for good braking. Okay? And five, which I think is the probably the biggest one in my opinion. Everybody thinks that anybody can ride them, that no, you don't need any skill to ride them. I don't know if they have gearboxes. Um, I don't think they do, but a person with no skill goes out and buys them. Fuck, we'll go, we'll go to six. They're cheap. They're cheap as shit. You can get one here for like $600. So, you have a kid, 16 years old, has no talent, wants to ride a motorcycle, but he's actually just riding a moped that is very fucking unsafe. Like, if I were to get hit with this, it's a little bit heavy, but if, like, a car were to hit me, I feel like I could control it enough to do something. The way those bikes are set up, all the engines in the back. So, your front tire has, I want to say no precedence, but no precedence. Like, it's there, but it's not got any weight on it. The only weight that it has is your body. So, as soon as your body, that so you pump... There's no weight on the tire. No weight on the front tire. So how are you going to brake? I just see so many problems with those fucking things. And I don't think they should be legal when, like, R6s? Yeah, they have, it's a fucking track bike. And it's on the, it's on the fucking, it's on the road, right? But, you don't get, I mean, yeah, there are probably plenty of 16-year-olds who go out and buy a, an R6 or an R1 and then wreck it and then realize, damn, I should have got, like, a beater 250. Right. Well, granted, I, I never, never, I take that back, I never recommend a 250 or somebody starting off. Just for the fact that I started off on a 900. Granted, I've been in two wrecks. I've had two spills. Um, well, street spills. And uh, that, that shit is, everybody says, oh, what has happened to me? And I've been riding for 10 years. Just just wait. Just keep on riding. It, uh, the odds of you dying are still pretty high. Um, are you getting hit? Are you falling down? Something. In, in half the wrecks, I mean, well, I can't say half because I don't know the stats, but it happens where not all of it's rider fault. Like, granted, there's a shitload like mine, which rider fault is going, one, I was going too fast, and the other one hit his hand. But you gotta kind of just relax on the scooters. I don't think that they're safe, and I don't think that they should be on the road, personally. I don't think that that should be a way of mobility. Um, I know that under 50 cc's you don't have to have a license and I think most of them run 49 cc's just for that fact so they can just dart around and do whatever but I don't think I don't think that they're safe I don't I, 
if somebody told me, would you want a dual sport, a sport bike, or a scooter, a scooter wouldn't even, let's say, fuck scooter, scooters are stupid, you can get yourself killed like that.